What's up guys and girls out there in Cyberland? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing pretty well. Thank you for asking. Matter of fact, I'm doing pretty darn well. Just had a big old plate of some fried potatoes. That's all I'm eating this morning. I don't feel like having nothing else. You can tell I was a little bit nippy when I woke up. Got my hoodie on. I turned the heat on. I must be getting old. But it went from like 90 degrees to like 60s, 50s and 60s overnight uh, just a few days ago. So there was no change in holidays. It was just like boom. So anyway, guys, I have a little something new and I'm sure you know what it is by the thumbnail. I got my Sega Genesis mini console like so many other people uh, pre-ordered it from Amazon um, it was actually at my nephew's house he ordered it for me and so I just got it like a couple days back and I'm just now gonna do a little video I'm not gonna do any video uh, game playing I'm just gonna introduce it to you uh, I did have the original Sega Genesis back when it came out in like what was it 89 maybe I don't even remember the date I don't remember the year a funny story I'll go ahead and share that with you uh, a buddy of mine I was with him and his mom we went out of town and uh, or I went out of town with them and they were they're fairly wealthy people and uh, he uh, his mom bought him a Sega Genesis that day and while we were there at the store she made me an offer uh, she said if I quit biting my fingernails I used to have a horrible problem biting my fingernails she said if I quit biting my fingernails she would buy me a Sega Genesis isn't that amazing so of course I said sure but uh, it was many years later uh, that I quit biting my fingernails matter of fact the week before Thanksgiving of 2007 yes I remember that because it was a big deal biting fingernails was something I did and it's a disgusting habit anyhow that's a little story of how I got my original Sega Genesis I don't remember what I did with it. I probably sold it, took it to the pawn shop, whatever the case may be. I don't remember. But we got the new mini, and uh, I am going to get some footage of me playing some games. Of course, one of my all time favorite games uh, is Altered Beast. Um, uh, of course, I beat that back in the day. Golden Axe, I used to play that all the time, beat that back in the day. I only had probably maybe three or so games for the Genesis. It was a weird time of gaming. Uh, the Genesis wasn't like really huge here in my town, I don't think. Um, I don't know. I just didn't, I didn't invest a, a lot in the games back in the day. Uh, for the Super Nintendo even, I didn't have a ton of games. Uh, but for the original Nintendo, I had countless titles. And for uh, the Atari 2600, I had countless titles. And uh, uh, I also had the TurboGrafx-16 back when it came out. And I only had maybe two or three games for that as well. Uh, I wish I still had that. I, I guess I pawned off some stuff or sold things. So, I don't know. It's been a long time. Anyway, everyone knows the deal. Tons of games. Uh, you're going to ask yourself, or you're going to say, Mike, they've got uh, little Sega Genesis minis out for the past several years. Or, and, no, well, they do. But this is officially licensed from Sega. That's the first time that's been done. So that's what makes this one a little better. Uh, you're going to notice it does have the three button controller instead of the six button 
which a lot of people would rather have, mostly for fighting games. Uh, I'm not a fighting game person. I hate fighting games. I suck at them. So I really don't care. My main thing is Altered Beast, Golden Axe, stuff like that. Uh, we even got Shinobi on here, which is pretty cool. I was never a huge fan of Shinobi. But hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll uh, enjoy it. Also, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that I've uh, heard people, uh, other people say that uh, you can change the region settings on here to like uh, Japan or something like that. And I think it gives you the, uh, the Japanese version or something like that of the same game. Uh, sometimes those games are a little different. So if I, if I'm if I'm thinking correctly, that's pretty cool. So everything comes in here. Uh, the power adapter, I believe. The uh, the HDMI cables are in here. Everything's in here, ready to go, just like a lot of the other systems. Uh, so far, I pretty much have them all. I have the PlayStation One Classic. Uh, I have the SNES Mini. I have the NES Mini. Uh, I have Turbo Graphics uh, 16 classic mini on a pre-order so I'm enjoying them I don't do a whole lot of video gaming uh, so these are pretty nice you get to play uh, you can save uh, your progress at any moment on these on these little consoles and uh, you can go back to it at a later date and what have you and I, I like that I like the ease of it and just they're just really cool so anyway guys that's my video I hope you enjoyed it. Go pick you up one of these. Uh, it's getting some, some good reviews out there. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Know that I don't have any monetization on my channel. Uh, no ads that I'm aware of. If I do, let me know. And I'll try to get them off there because I don't care about ads. Uh, anyway, get up, get out, get ready and do it to it. Even while talking about the Sega Genesis mini classic we'll see you guys later